From her first television appearance in the rag trade, Sheila Hancock has shimmied her way through a distinguished and varied career. She now stars as the matriarch presiding over a dysfunctional family in Clive Exton's comedy, Barking in Essex. He was very keen to join the Mafia in them days, looked on it as a sort of gold star. I actually think it's an important play. I mean, it's a play with the most appalling language, probably the worst that's ever been seen in the West End. It's showing the vernacular as it is now, in an almost poetic way. Get out of it, he done Monty Brackenbury. Monty weren't a celebrity. Mummy just had a celebrity lifestyle. Cocaine, dodgy hairdos and that. Lee Evans and Keely Hawes joined Sheila as the chaotic crime family, with Abe the Only Way's Essex-style makeover. Is there any danger of any sort of cultural snobbery? Are we sending up people from Essex? No, I don't think we are. I think we're talking about our culture as a whole, not, not Essex particularly. It's a fun play. I mean, it gets huge laughs. And that's the main objective, I suppose. But for me, I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't thought underneath there's something quite serious here. Whale music. Listen to the whale music. I'm thinking to myself, these whales have got all these albums in the shops. You never see them on tour doing interviews, though, do you? As a stand-up comedian, Lee Evans is a multi-million pound box office draw. But despite his respected screen and stage experience, the star still feels he's got lots to learn. Well, it's lonely on tour. <laughs> you know, you're just like Billy No Mates. You're going around and you've got your bits of paper and stuff like that. This is more, like you say, collaborative. So, but it's, for me anyway, I'm not an actor and I learn from actors. They're, they're fascinating people. Um, a bit strange, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, but, you know, really fascinating people. He was on hundreds of police lineups and nobody ever picked him out, though nine times out of ten. I like to reach out and try to bring people into the West End that have never been before. That's what I like, to come in and say, look, it's really, really cool. Come and have a look, it's really cool, you know. And then to, to watch the story, because that's what it's all about at the end of the day, watching a story in this darkened room. Windham Theatre, darling, and step on it. But remember, this is not for young ears. Brenda Manners, BBC London News.